Okay, friends, I'm stopping right there. I'm at the house. I'm building you this freaking video right now, but I, I get asked this a lot. So I, I just feel as though these are times because we're in it right now that I can explain this better here and show it to you. I get asked about tuning all the time. Friends, that saw right now in this video, I would call that close to ragged edge. Friends, it's up there. It's a stock muffler. I don't believe the power saw stock. I will say that. But, and this is not a, this is not a hot rod 850. It is just a, 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 a beautiful rendition of an 850. It's clean. I remember the fella I bought it off. Uh, I think we did some trades, but I remember giving cash for it, and I was real happy I done. Did. Um, I'm going to fire this up, and I'm going to show you right now in this video. I'm going to stop. We're going to go back to the video. But I want you to understand something that that saw right now, if that saw at any point, You'll notice it a little bit, maybe on the low, I should almost grab that eight. I should almost grab that 850, friends, to be honest. This is a different saw. I should almost do it, but this is the same ordeal. And this is a good power saw, but I don't want to pull on it all day. So I think what I'll do is we'll, we'll make it fire right away and I'll get into the tuning instantly. Yeah, I don't even think we got fuel. So let, let's see if anything will come out of this thing. There. There's fuel in the carburetor now. Instantly, that's it. Bang, done. Okay, now, I'm going to leave this off. So, there's a high and a low jet, right? Here's what I suggest when you get a new saw. Turn the jets right in. Make them seat. With these saws, turn it out. I used to say one turn, and that's, it's good. It's good enough, but you don't know that the carb could be sitting, could be having a hard time getting... Go, go a, a, a turn and a quarter, friends. Go a turn and a quarter. Turn and a half. It'll run at a turn and a half. It'll be probably fat on the low jet. It'll probably want it. This is the problem what people do. They fire it up at a turn and a half on the low jet. It starts loading up, so they turn the idle up. Now they're going down a bad road. Don't do that. Turn your low jet up. Lean your low jet should be, depending on the saw, about one, one and a quarter. Right in there depending on what's going down. Let's fire this power saw up. I'm gonna show you what to listen for. Listen to how high these saws will scream. Then what'll happen is it just will not get fuel anymore. Okay, let's see if we can't get this thing to fire. See what I mean? So it consumed the fuel in the carburetor and it probably tried to suck some through the gas tank, up the line around the corner and into the carb and it just didn't do it. It didn't catch. So I could continue to pull, right? I could just continue to pull, which I could do. Let's put a choke on it, see what happens. These are tough to pull, friends. I'm not doing it. Hang on, sir. Okay, friends, I'm going to see see the chain is, is running there. So don't give it a bunch of throttle. See if it will carry itself by itself. Be, be ready, though. 
Be ready to just feather that throttle if it starts to cap. You need to find out what it's doing. So now, we'll see if this will work over the voiceover. See the chain moving? These are notorious for idling a bit higher when you first fire them. Let it settle. screw okay friends so I actually have an inclination here that this this saw is a little bit low or a little lean on the low jet I tend to do that because I like throttle response that's a thing I do I learned it from Bobby Walker actually so let's turn the idle right off I'm doing this for a reason the idles turned right off friends right off watch what happens I'm gonna check my low jet right now low jet only Let's have a look, let's see. Half, one, and a quarter about, one and a quarter. So, let's do this. Half, one. So it's at one now. I have not touched the idle, it's off. You saw it stalled, right? Check this out. This is low jet only I'm playing with here. Watch. So friends, the reason I'm doing what I'm doing right now is to find out if I can make this saw uh, idle with leaning out the low jet. And that's what I do here, and it does not work, which tells you that I'm, I'm really close with the low jet, if that makes sense, because sometimes they'll idle up, all right? But we're, we're pretty much there on low. Okay, friends, this is actually very interesting. Let me know if this voiceover works. I'm trying to just feather, the soot, which is the bottom part of the throttle, to see, because that's your low circuit. See? So that's what I'm trying to do, but watch what happens when it, I know it's lean on the low jet, but I crack the high throttle, and the high jet actually kicks in and carries the saw. Okay, this is really interesting. Try to understand what I'm saying to you right now. If I was just to go, like, it's too lean on the low jet, okay? It is. If I was to just try and feather that, that tells me I'm not, because it was gonna stall, right? It's not getting enough fuel. But as soon as I cracked it, the high jet kicked in and fed it, and I, I would have been able to run it. Did you, did you pick up that? Did you hear that? Okay, we know we're lean. I thought I could maybe get this thing to idle on the low jet. Some you can, some you can't. We're not gonna get it here. Let's go back to the square one on the low jet. One turn, okay, one turn. I'm, go I'm going one turn. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna kick the idle screw in. You gotta look close, friends. You gotta look close, let's do it. There, it literally, so it just touched the, the, the throttle, okay? One turn and feathering the idle circuit. to go. Help! 
Alex, did you, did you see what happened there? Did you follow all of that stuff that I just did? You, you don't nest, that's fat. So now when I get that in the wood, which we're not gonna do right now, um, this carburetor is actually, it works very good. Very responsive to everything I just did to it. This is a longer video, but it's important. People wanted a, an extensive kind of a tuning video. So I, I just, I used to run everything way up on the ragged edge. It's not worth it. It's not, it's not. I'll just be honest with you. I was a young man and, you know, tried it. I was on a horsepower run, right? But fuel gives power. But you can also go too far. You can be too fat and you'll be like, this thing is not cutting. It's just not. Turn your jets all the way in. Seat them. Open them up. A turn and a quarter. Fire the sob. Make sure your idle screw is just touching the idle adjustment. Just touching it. Maybe just, just a little bit. Feed it a touch and start tuning. Friends, that tuning session right there went very well because I was able to actually get the saw to idle very low. And then with the low jet, I, if I leaned it in, if it had it idled up, that wouldn't have been a bad thing, but it actually started to starve and stumble. So I, I, knew I, I knew I was not where I needed to be. So I fattened it up again. I try and find my throttle response. You see on the low jet, you see what I'm saying? So this thing's probably, And there you go. I know you were probably rattling around and but that's that's the tuning session right there for you. Mm. Good morning, friends. Well, that was a lot of information, but it's really not that difficult. And you can utilize that system in any two-stroke motor, but it works very good for power saws because you can you can find the spot where the low jet gives you most throttle response because if you're too fat on the low jet did you what was very important in that video friends was where i was feathering the low jet and it was very it was struggling now if i had to fatten that up and started feathering it would have loaded up and flooded and you would have saw black smoke unburnt fuel so there's a fine line and that's why you can't have a bunch of idle going to it while you're tuning does that make sense? So most power saws, friends, and I've been doing this a long time, and you want to know another thing? Let's have a little discussion, just, just for a quick, because this is a shorter video. But, friends, the reason I don't blow up saws and I can sing my saws up and got away with it for so many years is, that, well, maybe I'll ask you, what, what, what do you think that reason is? The only saw that has blown up in my hands in the last, since I've had YouTube on, is the Chinese saw, that Hulse former that was sent to Hogan as a gift, or us as a gift, and we ported it, and it, it just couldn't take it. And we didn't really hit it that hard. The crank just gave up. 
it, it was just garbage. That, so that one. And then another one that someone ported, remember, friends? It, and, and it was, a, a, I was running it for, for somebody, I forget, but it was, it was a ported saw and something failed, but then I ended up taking it back to a guy in town. Do you remember that one, friends? I was on that fallen job down here. So that was that one that was just someone saw. They asked me to kind of break it in and it blew up. Someone's, it, something just didn't work. Someone's port work, but they went good on it and that was good. And the other one was my 850 and that, that hurt a bit. That one did hurt a little bit because Tin Man did a really nice job of that. But the 850s, McCulloch's in general, if you do any research on them, they did not know how to chrome stuff. <laughs> Their chroming was, that's what that, Bobby Walker actually thinks that was the demise of the company. I'm sure there was other things involved, but they couldn't chrome nothing. They should have just stayed the way they were going. They made power. That 81 I ran yesterday, friends, that thing's freaking beautiful. And I was, I had that thing up there. I like taking them up now and again. But the reason I don't blow saws up and burn saws up is because I have them sharp for one thing. They're always sharp because there's no point in cutting. That's, that's actually kind of foolish. It's hard on the body and it's really hard on the saw. And you could start a fire with friction. So there's another thing, hazard for you. So d just stop when you hit something, okay, friends? Just just stop. Professionals, d well, professionals I've been working with don't run dull, saw dull saws. They just don't. It's not a thing. So especially especially falling, you'll see guys in the tree service do it all the time. It's actually sad. It, it's the, the falling game changes it for you. you. You don't fall timber with a dull power saw. It doesn't happen. It's not a thing. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm just trying to get focused here. But I do want to say a couple things, friends, at the end of this video about our year. Hey, what a year. I said to folks last year, people would ask me lots, Bucking, why don't you have any products? What What is that shirt you're wearing? What are those pants you're wearing? What are those boots you're wearing, you know, what are, well, friends, I, I don't really know what to say there. I, I don't, I know lots of YouTubers do sponsored videos all the time. I know they do. And it's a good thing for the YouTuber. It's a great thing. Actually, they pay like crazy. I just have chosen to not do so. That's all. There's no secrets to it. I get emails, people asking me, Buck, and I like this, I like that. What, could you, you know, what is it? I said, well, I don't know. I, I, I don't. So anyways, I, I'm kind of losing my train of thought, but Nick's Boots is the only thing that we've done. And I'm working with Nick's Boots, and I love the company. I love the fact that they're willing to work with me, friends, on my old school tendencies, you know what I mean? Like that old, you know, to take their product and put a different, like a tongue thing, Kelty or whatever you call them. False tongue is what I call it, but Kelty. Um, to, to do, that shows flexibility in a company. That shows that they're listening to their, their freaking customers. You know, that's pretty cool. So, so but, but besides that, the quality and the, the footprint, so to speak, is there for me, a narrow footprint they're just, they're working for me. So that that's, and I told folks that I would do something by the, by, you know, this was the year, right? And it, and it was. So we did manage to do some of that. There's more of that on the go. I'm, I'm, this channel's changed my life, friends, let's be honest, and others as well, others people's lives. So, and for that, that's the main thing for me is people that, you know, get a hold of me and they're like, Buck, and I just got to tell you, and they, they kind of pour their, their story out to me. And, and it, it, that's the part that really keeps me uploading videos, to be honest with you. Because if it was about money, we'd have a sponsored video every second or third video. Correct? Yeah. So I just get whatever AdSense gives me for making the videos, uh, YouTube which is Google. But in saying that, friends, in saying that, 
I want to thank a very special couple groups of people right now. And I mean this from the bottom of my pits of my soul. Our messengers of kindness, we call them. It's people that have come here and have gone and just started to donate to the channel on a monthly basis. It, I can't even begin to, to put the words to that. So to you people, it helps like crazy. I don't promote it because I just, I don't know why, I just don't. Maybe I am right now, huh? Pretty tricky, eh? No, there's no trickiness to nothing. Humans are smart. So thank you, friends. Thank you so, so much. And it was, it was a good year. And we gave a lot of stuff away this year, friends. Oh, my goodness. We donated to the freaking Samaritan House, the new youth, the homeless youth, the uh, besides all the other stuff me and my wife do that we don't talk about because we prefer not to, just because it kind of ruins the, the gift when you talk about it sometimes, I think. Unless there's other folks involved and they need to find out about the information. And that's why we do that once in a while. I remember doing that in the, in the, in the comment section, friends. Remember I put up that little receipt for a thousand bucks we gave to the homeless? And somebody said, you're grandstanding. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, gotcha. I'm grandstanding. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. I was, I was wondering what I was doing. So I stopped doing that because uh, I've actually said that several times in my videos. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that part of it. So we will just continue to do what we're, we're doing. So you can know that this year going forward, uh, oh, as a matter of fact, the, the recipient program, if you're, if you're interested in what the recipient program is, and I'm saying this because we're starting out a new year, friends. This is a major part of this channel. And again, I don't promote it. But it is on our website. And if you want to learn about it, please do go to buckandbillyray.com and read about the recipient program. Friends, I've not invoiced anyone this year. No one's seen an invoice from this Buck and Billy Ray's tree service. Not one. Zero. And the year before as well. Just putting that out there. And that is because of YouTube and the messengers of kindness and our super chatters and the people that support this channel and message. And I would be a fool to not sit here and thank you people publicly I'm getting quite ripped up right now because it's serious business and I take it extremely seriously. Now I'm pointing at you. See that? I'm surprised I'm not swearing. I swear when I get passionate about things. I'm so grateful for this, this part of my life. Friends, I almost checked out No. 06. I had a little discussion with the fella. So just know that I, 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 to say I'm on borrowed time is, well, no, because you're here. You're supposed to be here. But I feel like I'm so lucky and so fortunate. I do. I feel like I'm on borrowed time. So it's all gratitude for me. I don't, I don't need nothing now. And you, you hear me speak of being free. Man, that's been the biggest gift for me, personally, spiritually being free, not having to justify my existence to people. I see it all over the place and on YouTube, especially when you get attacked, when somebody comes up. You know, my buddy Tin Man there, the nicest freaking dude in the world, pull his shirt right off his back and give it to you. He, get, he got some comments and it just blows my mind. If I was a different human being, I would ask for that man's address and drive to his house and say, what did you say about the Tin Man? You know what I mean? I'm just not that fella. It's so sad, friends. We can't bring light to that this year. Let, let's try not to bring any light to that this year. Any of it. I'll remove him in the comment section right now. If I see that you're negative and you don't like me, because I can tell if you don't like me, and quite frankly, I don't care. I would prefer you like me, but if you don't, that's fine, because I don't need you to like me to feel good. So... But but if I see your, your your vibrations in the comment section here getting a little goofy, you're freaking gone. Gone. 
and you'll under, you'll all of a sudden you'll make a comment, you'll come in to try and hit me with something, you'll realize that nobody's commenting and nobody's, and you'll be like, no one sees you, and you'll be, you'll be alone again. You see, so that's about all I'm going to say about anti positivity. So. I'm 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 not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that because it's uh, it brings it brings energy to it. It's kind of a funny thing on a couple other platforms. People actually take those comments, the not nice comments, and they pin them on the screen and they and they justify and they talk about it. They're bringing so much energy and light to this the the the, the dark side. It, it, you know, really. It, it, I, but I'm a weirdo. I, I'm a weirdo. There's no question about it, friends. I bury my head in the sand on all kinds of issues in our world. Politics? Ask me something about politics. I know nothing about politics or religion. Nothing. But I feel so connected. I've never felt more connected in my entire life. Anywheres. So, anyways, I've rambled far enough. I am Buck and Billy Ray Smith. And I will continue to be so on this channel and if you like it here and you you've picked up something or learned something hit the freaking thumbs up go to buckandbillyray.com grab yourself a get the gullet shirt or a hat and just be here with us just be here or don't be here please it's easier on you it is it's much easier on you if you don't want to be here but you're still here so whatever the bonus is for you being here it warms me that that is that's happening for you Truly, it does. And I wanted to set off our year last year. It was crazy. We had a phenomenal year. Lots of giving. Going to be more this year. Friends, in February, I got plans to go down to see Clay again. And, and Mr. Liam Hoffman. So there's some neat things happening, friends. And Brad's still going strong. It's going to be a really, really neat year. I'm so excited and so grateful for everyone that comes here. And if you're new here, I love you and thank you. Thank you for being here. I know that was a ramble a but I don't do them that often. And I like to ramble sometimes. I get connected to you people when I do, because you must know. You must know about me. Mm -hmm. You must, right? It's like when you go to a restaurant, hey, and you get a, a beautiful meal, but you've had no service. None. They never came by once and asked you how things were or nothing, even though it was really super good. And then they were a little bit rude to you when you asked for something. And then they, they, you sat there and waited for things. And the service was atrocious, but the meal was good. You tell me right now, are you going back? Tell me, honestly, in the comment section, are you? No matter how good the food was, tell me about that one. Because I ain't. So you'll be treated kindly here. And you might even get a steak. I'm shooting off. I love you people so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's please dig for love this year. Let's stand up for love. Stand up and buck and stand up for love. The world needs love like never before, friends. Well, let's make it happen. Let's do it. Just be kind. It's not hard. Your serotonin, your freaking body goes nuts when you do a kind thing for somebody. Even watching someone do something kind, your serotonin and your immune system is boosted. These are facts. Maybe that's why I feel so vibrant. <laughs> I'm not joking you. I think I'm Benjamin Buchan, actually. I think I'm getting younger. We're in for a good year. I love you work hard be honest you young fellas trust me you're being watched you're being watched by yourself and by the big fella do right do right by yourself work harder than the next guy beside you but help him along the way too be kind start your legacy now start it today integrity is now right now You've done stuff in the past that you're not happy about? Ask for forgiveness. Guess what? If you truly, truly, sincerely are sorry and you want it gone, it leaves in an instant. And you're sorry when you're done doing them. You're not sorry when you keep doing stuff and keep saying sorry. That's not sorry. That should be shut up is what that should be. You're sorry when you're finished doing that stuff, whatever it is. I got to go because I'm getting heated. I love you.